Hi guys, this is Damien Levy and this will be the weekly analysis swing trading and we are the 3 of April 2023. Let's start with odd USD. Odd USD, the weekly trend is quite clean going down and as we can see there is a strong support and resistance right here and the next one will be around here with the round number. Those levels are quite far away and we will just wait for those to come. Odd CAD. Here we have a supply and demand zone right here and in the middle of this zone there is a, a huge round number right there. The trend is changing from an uptrend from here and then breaking last week down. So it's a downtrend now. This level is significant. The downside is it happened on the Monday morning after the weekend. And I placed this trade because so the 15 minute chart is going down nicely and then it breaks up close above the previous high on this downtrend. And the volume happening when it touch this round number makes sense. So how can I say that the volume makes sense? Well, just simply by looking at the size of the candlestick right here, those candlestick have quite a big body and they are not narrow, like for example here. So what we are interested in is to see what's happened and the volume involved when the price will touch the round number and there is volume involved here, which makes me believe that this violation of the trend, downtrend on the 15 minute chart will hold. And now we also have like a liquidity here a double bottom so a lot of stop losses are just below so i would see price going there take the liquidity trigger my entry and then go up again as a risk management we take 0.5 percent or one percent each trade the stop loss is always the risk is always the candlestick who made the low and then we take five times this risk as a reward on average which means if you play 0.5%, you might make 2.5% in your account, which is already significant. So that's it for this chart. And on the downside, we are making new low on the forward chart. Pretty nice. And there is this zone right here with a round number in the middle that is significant as a support and resistance. You can see multiple support here, just a fake out here. So this zone as a resistance three times makes sense for a sell off again. And if this zone would not hold, I would expect the next level will be this level right here. In this nice, impressive daily downtrend. Odd CHF. Beautiful downtrend. Well, nothing really changed from last week. I would expect eventually this line chart, you know, support, then resistance here to turn again. Plus the 10 EMA from the weekly correlated here. If this level would not hold, I would go for the next level with the 20 MA, which is also a significant level of support. There is not so much history here, so I would just expect that this support turn into resistance here. Since the power is strongly down, the sell are the best opportunity with highest probability. And on the monthly, there is a level of support just below that. Odd New Zealand, the level are quite far away, nothing changed from last week. Odd JPY, so there is a trade. If we use a smart money concept and place a Fibonacci here, the level is around the 50% retracement only. What makes this level interesting and why I have placed a trade right there is there is this nice zone of supply with a huge departure from the zone. Untouched, it was untouched until last Friday. Then there is a 200 EMA on the forward chart, which is significant as well priced broke spiked the uptrend here the uptrend is spiked out so it might means a change in trend there is some liquidity if we go on the one hour chart we can see there is some triple top here so a lot of stop losses are above that which makes sense for the price to just touch this level and then continue to drop further same here it's a monthly trade so cautious it might not work out on the weekly chart we can see this level was a nice line chart support here there is a huge round number just above and if we look further in history we can see that this zone makes sense with spikes here 
Uh, this zone as a resistance make a lot of sense here, based on past history on this price. And the move down is, is quite powerful. Below that there is the 200 EMA again and the 800 EMA, plus a nice zone of demand that hasn't been touched yet, which makes me believe that we might see a new low forming, which means the trade, if this one works from where it is right now, it might, it might make a lot of reward. It might make a huge drop from there. And if this level would not work, there is this next zone right here. Around the 61 Fibonacci on this huge down move right here. That's pretty. It. Euro odd. There is a huge nice angle thing bullish right here. So I would expect to take a buy level inside this candlestick on the weekly. Which is combined with this very strong level of support right here and daily level of support right there. And on the sell side, uh, we are in a monthly huge downtrend. The month is just starting. The candle didn't close above the high, so we are still in a downtrend on the monthly chart, which makes me believe that this zone, which is a nice zone of resistance, might eventually give us some nice opportunity. We might see just a fake out of this high, price just going up, triggering this, this zone, and then a huge drop from there. It's, it's a strong possibility. And then what we can see is like a double top again. So there is a lot of liquidity above those double top which would make sense for the price to go there and then fake it and then reverse down. GBP odd, the level made a lot of fakes out last week. There was an opportunity here and then faked it and double top on the one hour, then triggered it and then reverse. Price might just fall from there. Here there is a nice level of support and resistance that we might eventually take for a buy. And if this level would break, then I would go for the next level, which is right here. Strong probability of success as well here. If we look at the weekly chart, we can see. So the first level has multiple rejection right here. And the second level has a huge reversal as a spike. And then resistance multiple times here. And then this is the initiating of the daily trend up right here. Two level makes sense for a, for a buy. CAD Yen. I'm targeting like this zone to be a nice sell from the daily chart essentially. There is a nice move making a new low. This low right here was broken down which makes me believe that this zone from right here might be a good zone for a sell around the beginning of the move that made the downtrend. That's why I will be expecting eventually today, tonight, a rejection from this zone. CAD CHF, if we just zoom out on the chart, we can see there is a huge drop here. So we want to follow this direction. There was a double top here and then it took the liquidity and dropped. Price might then drop from here or eventually it will continue to the next zone of supply, which is right here on the daily. Touch this zone, that's what I would expect eventually. And then from there, I would expect a huge, huge drop. A lot of reward eventually when we see a, a huge impulsive going down as big as this one you can expect some nice pips from there you can see when this zone of supply was taken properly then they, there was a huge amount of pips to do there so what we might see right now is eventually like a double top with the spike created just right now we might see a little rejection making people believe that's the right time to sell when in fact it will continue above it take the liquidity from here, take the liquidity from here, and then move down from there. CHF Yen. So the overall trend was quite up recently, from this low to this high. Then we had a huge down move, impulsive, and then it rejected this zone, and now go back up. Since we have an impulsive move right here, I would expect to see another rejection, and my zone would be this zone right here filling the gap basically between here and all the way here. There is eventually a double top forming right here, so liquidity above. Yeah, it would make perfect sense if it would go higher than that. Gold was still in a strong uptrend, and on the weekly there is nice level right here for buy. Those two level plus those spikes right here. Spike as a resistance, beginning of this huge candle going up. Price is retracing, making inside bars on the weekly chart. We can also see there is a trend line right here that has been violated right now. 
so price might just continue to fall until this 200 EMA and then go up from there taking the liquidity of all the people who have placed their stop loss below this trend line right here silver silver I took this very strong impulsive move going down right here and the only level that makes sense is this weekly line chart level from here here multiple times like three times so this zone makes sense for a sell and what we can see right now is eventually a liquidity inducing with like a, a double rejection on the top and then break of this trend but it didn't touch my zone so I will still wait the price to go a little bit higher before I'm ready to sell and on the buy side there is a first level based on multiple on the weekly here and then there is this huge second level here based on spike as a resistance and as a support spike again here spike again here as a resistance and spike as a support here again plus those weekly EMA at the same time here Euro USD so we had a weekly level of support right there it seems to reject a little bit before it it didn't touch so I'm still not there at all and I will see Euro CHF so on the weekly side we have a nice impulse from this high going all the way to this low right there so in the sell side there is still this double top right here so price might take the liquidity here and then fall down and on the downside for a buy I have a multiple level of support and resistance here it's a huge level and there is a big impulsive move going up from this level so when price will come back to this level I would expect this to hold that's why I have a buy and a sell here Euro CAD so same Euro CAD touch early this morning during Asian session touch the level there is some kind of a volume the candlestick are quite big here so I think I can rely on the low created here and even use this high as well if they are broken up I will place a trade around the bottom on the daily we are an impressive move going up so this would be a perfect zone for a buy for sure and on the weekly you can find the profile my whole analysis on telegram on my free channel so on the weekly we can see there is a huge level of support right here and resistance and every time price rejected from this zone there was a huge move in the opposite direction whether up or down which make me think if I see a rejection right now then there might be a nice chance for a good amount of pips there so I want to buy here for sure Euro Yen Euro Yen uptrend on the weekly from this low to this high and then rejected the low rejected higher rejected still make a beautiful bullish angle thing last week which means I would like to buy inside this angle thing in this week with this level of support and this level of support as a reference point still rejected the high of this one which triggers a low right there on the daily so it could be just a fake of the high it might be too late to enter so I will just wait and see what happens if it comes back to there price didn't trigger the 15 minute candle or made the high right here there is like some liquidity just before it so it might go all the way up and then go all the way down Euro New Zealand there was a huge impressive move going down here and we are around this top that's why I eventually expect this zone with this round number to hold for rejection a bit more but the trend overall is from this low creating a new high and rejecting around 75% retracement plus a bullish angle thing two weeks ago here I would still expect to buy as a higher probability setups here GBP USD rejected my zone last week and now it's at a level for a buy I didn't take any trade yet because this is London I will wait for a second confirmation of this level and this level is a daily why I didn't take this trade specifically it's because price when last time it was there it rejected the zone very very violently first so when it come back so there I would expect the price to really continue to drop down which means this level which is a bit close to the reversal point might not hold for a long time and I would expect even the second level right here to hold price deep down more and then reverse there we can also see that the 4 hour trend right there has been broken down and closed below so this is a good sign that this zone on top 
might hold and make a nice entry price go all the way up and then reverse down again so i would be willing to sell if price return to this zone tonight with a 15 minute chart confirmation gbp cat down we are in an uptrend on the weekly pretty cleanly first there was this move going up and then there was this move making a new high breaking all the previous high there is a very beautiful level of support and resistance just above with the 800 EMA. So I have this level in mind for a sell-off. And additional to that, I would like to buy around the 10 EMA on the weekly. So a little drop and then up more. This zone will look also very beautiful based on the supply and demand concept. You have a base, a strong rally here, a base, and then another rally here. There is a round number in the middle. So when this zone will be touched, it makes good sense to buy it after an impressive move going high like this one gbp chf <coughs> so i have a level here based on the weekly impulse going down right there and the trend seems still to be a little bit down on the weekly but it spiked the last high right here so it might go a little bit higher i would say the sell is the lowest probability the highest probability would be to buy here inside this beautiful angle thing right here here or here and if we look at the four chart we can see that there is a double bottom right here so a lot of liquidity below that so it would make sense for the price to drop more and then fly up and if it would drop more than that then the second level would be right here for a buy gbp yen a beautiful weekly uptrend from here to here Rejected around 75% retracement right there. Continue to reject the low, making new high, and now making new high. I selected this one because there was a huge spike rejecting it last time. So it might be a little rejection, but the highest probability is for a buy right there. Here there is a one hour trend change right there, which makes me believe that this level might work a little bit more. It might trigger the top right here and I will check on the 15 minute chart. If I have a nice confirmation there, then I will be ready to sell eventually. Aiming for the price to go all the way to this level for sure. GEP New Zealand, well, it's a bit the same setup, same chart, I will not go over it. Euro GBP, well the level are quite far. What I can see right now is a nice impulsive move going down. So if this high would not hold, I would expect the price to go here and then drop again. And if it drops more, I would expect to reach this zone right here. This zone is an untouched zone of demand with multiple rejection here as a resistance and as a support in the past. And now as well here, you can see there is two EMA, the 250 from the weekly, which are powerful. And we can also see that there is a double bottom right now. So a lot of liquidity below that. And we might see the price just take the liquidity, bounce off to 200 EMA, and then make a higher high. This might be a huge trade as well. New Zealand USD. Weekly downtrend from this to this new low created, breaking this low. And I would expect to sell around this nice level of resistance from the weekly. And if not, go to the next level of resistance weekly which is confluent with this supply zone on top huge priority of success on those two levels and what we can see right now is there is like a double top created last week so there is liquidity here which means a break a fake and then a move down possible as well new zealand cad we are in a retracement mode the short term weekly is making new low but the real trend is here for sure so right now i would expect the price to continue to go low because it rejected this supply zone so i would expect to break this low and then break this zone which is a level of strong support and resistance here so making eventually a new low and then reverse for good on the upside new zealand chf weekly downtrend for sure there was an impulsive move three weeks ago this one going down and then it follow it right here there is still a level untouched around the top so there is a possibility that price make a fake out above and then go all the way down here and then from there eventually go up 
that's what I would expect. Those level, all of those are confirmed by a valet in the volume at price, which means it's a non-discretionary way to see support and resistance. New Zealand Yen. So we can see on this chart, on zooming out, we have a nice impressive move going down, okay? So this is beautiful, and then there is this untouched zone of supply and demand that has been taken on Friday. We took this trade, <coughs> and now it made three rewards, and now go against it again. But it was Friday, so there is still the possibility that the price come back to retest the zone, make us a pattern during maybe New York, because my be too late for now and then at New York it might continue the drop because we are following the weekly downtrend here we go and there is also the possibility that the price want to test the 800 EMA so there is a possibility that the price want to test the 800 EMA on the forward chart here this would make sense as well so the 15 minute chart will be a good place to wait for a change in trend and to re-enter a trade here USD CAD, this one will trigger the entry of the trade. So what happened on USD CAD? Look closely, we have a, a beautiful impressive move going up, this one. And then we have this spike right here with this spike and numerous spike again all the time. Every time the first time it returns the zone and that's the first time it will retouch the zone as a support. So what surprised me this morning is the volume involved, and I will show you again on USDCAD. So this is nice for you to learn. The volume involved usually during Asian, which is here, is very narrow candle, as you can see here, narrow candle, not really good move and everything. But this morning during Asian, that's not the same story at all. Look at that. Which make me believe that this level will hold because there is huge candle during the opening of the market and the market make a downtrend on the 15 minute make this newly lower high and then break below with the spike and then break above the newly created low uh, high sorry and closed above so i have an entry at this candle who created the low five reward on this trade and it will trigger in a minute or two i guess so that's USD CAD and there is as well, this zone is nice because there is a huge round number here. The round number is 135. On the forward chart, if I zoom out, this zone is also very interesting because there is, from supply and demand concept, multiple resistance. And then this is what is, what is called the flip zone. A zone that flipped basically the support into resistance. And when the price touched this zone for the first time, usually we have a nice, a nice move up. And if I was wrong, which can totally happen, then there might be another pattern happening later today. So I would be willing to see that later today, if this one would lose. USD CHF. So we are on the daily chart on this one. There is a huge impressive move going down. That's why I have eventually this zone of resistance aligned with the 200 EMA here to take as a resistance. And I would expect the price because of this huge impressive move going down to make a new low and the new low will be very nice to have a nice rejection around this round number right here which is 0 090 it's a huge round number on USDCHF so same I would wait this eventually double bottom to be taken out the liquidity taken out there and then eventually uh, a nice move up from there because it's a huge round number here USD Yen so USD Yen, we have a nice untouched zone of supply, plus the 800 EMA, plus a huge round number right here. And if we look at the daily, we can see that we have a nice impressive move going down from here to here. And eventually triggering this low, so the daily trend is quite clean going down now. And we have a huge level of resistance on the daily right here, which collide to this zone. That's where I would like to sell here. USD MXN. So USD MXN, we are at a monthly, this is a monthly chart, huge level of support, support, fake support right here. And we had a huge daily rejection from the level right here. This is very significant. So even if the downtrend was not broken on the daily, I would still expect the price to reject this bottom right here. That's the candle who made the low right there and if it would touch this level during New York which would represent the best time of the day for USD Mexican peso 
So New York session is the best to, to trade this pair. Then I would expect to see a, a rise and I would be ready to buy there. And what we can see right now is as well a double bottom right here. The opening of the market and this one makes liquidity here. So a break below that to touch this level right there would make sense. And a buy-off would make more sense. That's what I'm waiting here. USD ZAR on the weekly we are still in an uptrend. This high was taken out here, creating a new high. We have a nice impulsive move going up, so of course the best probability are to buy and there is this nice level of resistance support right here that I would expect to turn into a support again. First time it will come back to it. And after we have a nice impulsive move for a sell from this huge level of resistance there. And if so, on the short term, there might be a chance to sell right here. Might be where the price is headed right now. So we might see this move going there as a fake move uh, for tonight. And we might see a reversal there for a sell. Bitcoin uh, touched the level, which is 30,000 here. And then break the structure on the forward chart. I would wait to see another change in trend if price retouch this zone. And if I want to buy, I want to buy around the 200 EMA right here, which is the zone of supply right there. Ethereum is a bit the same. UK 200. I have an untouched zone of supply right here. That's where the price is right now. So same. If you see, if I see a nice 15 minute change in trend proper, breaking this low, newly created right there then there might be a trade here. US 30 on the forward chart, it's a bit the same. We have a nice impressive move going down from here and we are on the last zone here. So we might see a nice 15 minute chart. Reversal for a sell today. S&P 500 is near a nice zone as well, just above that. And GPY 200 to 5, it's a bit the same. We want to sell around this nice setup. So this on the weekly chart on GPY 250, 250 is created breaking this low. So we have a nice impressive move going down. And then this is a very huge level of resistance on the weekly. So this level has a lot of significance here. Here we go. And we are done for today. So I hope you like this analysis. It's free. The profile is free, downloadable on Telegram, on my free Telegram channel, where you will receive the alert of the signals and the screenshot of the chart we are going to trade. I wish you all success for this week. Don't hesitate to comment below the video to have some other information and see you next week. Bye everyone.